honestly, every time I hear my computer, I'm just like, man, something has to be done about that loudness. Anywho, welcome back. I am here with another installment of Nino Kuni 2, and we're gonna have a grand old time here in Goldpaw. Look at these dog people. Which I have nothing against, it's just, uh. Yeah. So. A word of warning be careful of the dish called Victor's Volcano. It's fearsomely hot and spicy, like having a dragon breathe into your mouth. Even a dedicated gourmand such as myself is unable to get through an entire bowl. Though believe me, I have tried. Hmm. <laughs> oh, this is just delicious for anything my mother makes. My mother is a fine cook, so this is a high praise indeed. Mm. <gasps> oh, you heard the noise? That was me. Oh dear, D don't tell anyone, please. It's just, the food smells so, so delicious. <laughs> hello? 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 And speak to me! Woman, I will, you know, fine. I won't do anything. Hi! Oh, hello! <laughs> You're our visitor here, yes? Well, I know everything about Golpa. I will tell you where all the shops are. Now the sweet saffron... Saffron Tea House is right in front of me, and this, uh, the food they serve is just delicious. If you want weapons, however, you should go to the Iron Orchard. Hello! Uh, I, it is a walk from here, near the important-looking woman who decides all our futures. For all your other shopping needs, you can visit the Lucky Lotus Item Emporium. Head down there in the alley of Sweet Saffron, and you will be there in no time. This place is fraught with all kinds of stuff. Um. Oh, I do apologize, but we are replenishing our stock at the moment. Hey. Um. His name is Newbie. Because he's a newbie. <laughs> Don't believe me? Oh, well, you'll see in a bit. Hey, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. I am demanding your attention. I am your king. Alright, fine. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Mm. I mean, you can't really talk to a lot of these people at first anyway, but still, it's just like something I'm trying. <sighs> I want a weapon too! I want the biggest, most oppressive weapon in the land! But my pocket money is not enough. Is not enough! I could just say I don't have enough money. No, whatever. You sell cannons? Can I have one? No, whatever. Hmm. Hmm. I simply cannot decide which weapon to buy. Perhaps I should let the dice make the decision. Sir? Welcome. Welcome to the Iron Orchard Outfitters. What can I do for you today? Hmm, I guess buy. Let's see what you have. Wolfram sword. Oh, that's actually nice. I mean, I don't mind. I don't mind replacing a lot of my swords, cause considering how often I'm switching, it's just like it sucks. Hmm. No. No. So it looks like if I bought some of these and just replace those four swords, or just buy two and replace two swords and then just buy one of these and replace that axe down there should be just fine yeah nah. take your time let's see if there's anything I should sell So she has to switch to that one still. Like this can go. Alright. Oh, that Take your be. time. Thank you. Come back anytime. Yes. I, it just, ah. Hello. 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 Hey, easy. Gimme. 
Hello there. If you're planning on spending the night in Gold Bar, then I would highly recommend staying at the inn, especially if you intend to visit the casino. You see, rumor has it that fortune favors those who choose to stay here. You would be foolish not to give it, like, at least give it a try. <laughs> Gopal is a very fine city, yes? So full of nature, even among all the buildings. And the food is just out of this world! The potluck's pot stickers are my favorites. I cannot stop eating them. Really? I almost don't believe you, actually. Hmm. Hello, ma'am. Oh. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, I'm a raving mad dog lady. They say the fortune is it is now. Yeah. Do you not want to stay? I see. Then please enjoy your pleasant time and go for that face is terrifying. But eh, so is mine. <laughs> and Lofty's. Like, look at that. Now that's the. You want to see a destroyer of worlds? That's a destroyer of worlds right there. <laughs> Hello. Har har. Har har. Visiting casinos at your age? You must be rich or something. If only the wealthy flout the rules so merrily. Really? It's like a whole invisible wall here, so it's like it doesn't let the camera through. The bard with the long name? Oh yes, he came here when I was still a mere pup, but he sang so beautifully. I will never forget him. I never... Hmm. I, I even tried to look for him once, but I could not remember his name. Sin... something... Stekinimit. Stekinimit. I feel like that's a reference to something. Like, don't worry, be happy. Like, this, like, what is this? Just stay canamite. Hmm, I don't know what that is. It's no good. I forget the rest. It's probably sin bad, because it's been sin, like, twice now. Begging your pardon. Please, you must give me the knowledge I need. You must tell me how, how to win in the casino. <laughs> People like you never win at anything. No matter how many times you try, or how much knowledge you are given, I would strongly advise you to stay away from gambling. That goes to my audience. No one will listen, but, you know. Get anything? Hmm. Alright then. What's down here? Die! Die! Time to end the lineage! And, all right, fine. This is all kinds of meeple. Meeple? Meeple? Yes. <laughs> People I have spoken to. Hello there. Guard looking for company. Encountering you in this manner must make me the luckiest man in all of Goldpaw. What say we take a chance on each other? Give the dice of life a throw. Hello there. I, hello there. <laughs> I didn't even notice. Hmm, I suspect that you're playing for stakes that are far beyond your means. Oh, poor man. Oh, you're from Ding Dong Dell, I presume. I must say, you appear to be very calm given what has ha occurred in your kingdom. <laughs> you fool. That is because I staged everything. <laughs> hello. Uh, what now? How can a pharmacist not get a moment's peace? This is supposed to be my day off, and yet still I am hounded mercilessly. Oh. <laughs> Welcome to the Lucky Lotus Emporium. What are you looking for to do? A prickled pepper. Sleeping on. Hmm. No. Very much. Hello. Hello. Hello, my name's Peppa Pig. <laughs> I'm running oh I'm running in I was about to say running away. I'm running an important errand for my mother. She has sent me to to buy to she sent me out to buy today's lucky item. Whatever that is. Hello. Being a being a dancer becomes a little boring after a while and some days and you just don't do not want to smile nicely at customers. Fortunately here in Gopal, the only one only needs a little luck to change one's life forever. One day I will win big, and I never have to dance again. How 
old are you, by chance? I mean, I understand there's that whole, like, dog years thing, but I'm gonna assume that, um... Typical, natural laws are at work here, and I'm just saying, uh, you don't look a proper age. Just say, you know what? I don't care. You know what? Maybe she's, maybe she's just a regular dancer. I don't know why I assumed otherwise. Hello there. Hmm. Why, hello there, my friend, my young friend. You have the smell of money about you. <laughs> oh, but there's no need to look so frightened. You have nothing to fear from me. I shall not part you from your guilders. These so-called games of chance, however. Hello, newbie. Welcome again. Hi again. Welcome again. Hi again. I feel like I talked to everybody. Probably not. There's like a whole mess of people that's like up here. You know what? Let's do that real quick. How much time do we got? Oh, we have plenty. Oh, I can talk to these two. Hey. Trustworthy little boy. Are you giving up now? But if you do so, you will go home without having won a single gilder. I've had enough. The unreliable young woman. Oh. There must be easier ways of making money. And besides, if I leave now, at least I can be certain I, I will not lose any more. Y'all should stop doing illegal things. If you are doing illegal things. Hello! Yeah. Gopal's a crowded place. It can be difficult to track people down here. Hmm. Jesus, just so many people. Oh my gosh. That's right. I can bust into people's lips. FBI, open up! There's someone here, but I don't know where you are. Hmm. Probably on the roof or something. Hello. Huh. There's something you would like to like me to hunt for you? No? Then please leave me alone. Attitude. Oh, it looks like a dog's face. I didn't even see that. Huh. Alright, well, let's go. What's that noise? Hmm. Hello. Hello. All right. Dumplings for breakfast. Check. Every every second step on the stairs skipped. Check and check. I am wearing my lucky red gambling pants. Lucky red gambling pants. All the pieces are in place, surely today this is the day that we win the jackpot. <laughs> My god, they're colorblind! <laughs> oh, oh, it's horrible! Hello? Okay. <laughs> Hello! Hi. You have chosen a good time to be to come to Gold Hall. I feel there's something very auspicious in the air. I my vocabulary fails me. What does that word mean again? I actually hey. don't remember. Some local children like to jump jump from roof to roof and then back down onto the ground. But this is very, very dangerous. Please do not imitate them. You can't tell me what to do. I do what I want. Hey, kid. Oh, this is probably the person I was trying to talk <laughs> Ah, you are very naughty boy. I would have telling you it was very dangerous to climb into the roof. And yet here you are. Rebellious, I know. I'm gonna jump up here and jump up uh, and jump over yonder. Sweet. Right, I think that's enough for here. Hello. Yeah. No one can read the stars like Master Pugnacius or Pugnacious. It is his talent that has made Gopal so prosperous, you know. Fine. Well, hello there. Greetings. I suppose you're a tourist here in Gopal. Be sure to visit the luck, the Lady Luck, while you're here. She's truly magnificent. Simply take the stairs up, up to the square. You cannot miss her. Hey there. Let me see. Uh, yes, your fate is terribly unstable. Troublesome stars are set to align in your future. You do not have to believe what I tell you, of course, but I have never been wrong yet. 
Hold on, I know you. You're King Evan! Gosh, I never thought I'd run into you here. I'm from Ding Dong Dell, you see. Nah, I wonder what gave it away. But I happened to be away when all the trouble happened. I still can't believe Mousinger did what he did. Man, weird, right? Hey. Have you heard? People are saying that that the library is haunted. There are ghosts down in the cellar. <gasps> yes! I heard! This scared the life out of me. I hope that we never have to patrol down there. Oh, you're a visitor, are you? Well, feel free to look around gold paw if you like, but please do not tread your dirty footprints here. I am in the middle of cleaning. Can I go in? I think I can, but I should not. I feel like I did miss a couple buildings. Oh, there's some people I missed. Um, I must have been square before long, but I do not like to leave a piece of piece of work half finished. I bet you don't. Oh, yes. Gold Paul's a glamorous place, which means my clothes have to be twice as special to stand out. Yeah. Yeah, here we go. Now we're up and at it. There's more people! So... Ah, uh, the Clairvoyance Council is... When again? I did not bring my divining tools, and my robes are being laundered. But you're in robes. All right. Do not tell me you've forgotten again. You forgot last time too. You will be expelled from the council if this continues. Poor people. I feel sorry for all of them. Do I really? Nah. Children. Hey. 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 Listen. Do you want to know what the statue of Lady Luck? Uh, uh, why the statue of Lady Luck has its mouth open? Well, no. Well, I do. Yes, I do. It is because it is talking t t to the fates and asking them to to, to bring fortune. The Gopal. It is true. My father told me. Awesome, man. Oh, there's still so much more. This place is huge. I think I remember why, like, it actually felt like it took me so long, is because I was just talking to everyone. <laughs> Hello. The legends of the say that the that a gambler once hit the jackpot after passing through the gate 100 times. Fortune seekers have come come here ever since, keen to emulate this act of devotion. They call it the gate of. Of the lucky gambler, but I must confess I've never met anyone who has won anything as a result of walking back and forth beneath it. Woo! Eh. Gosh. So the casino lights? It's very lively. Hi, and it's uh, yeah, right, we're done. Okay. Hello there. Gopal has two key sites. Almost my brain almost said kidneys. Key sites that are usually of interest to visitors. The first, of course, is the spectacular casino. As for the other, well, you will have to go to the city square to see for yourself. Sir? Yeah. Ye. Yeah. All the adults go to the casino, you know. I will go. I'll, I, I will go to there, too, when I'm a uh, grown up. Yeah. Ye. Yeah. Ye. Yeah. Oh, yes. I heard that my husband was seen going to the casino, that is why I'm waiting for him here, so that I can accost him when he comes out. Let's see here. Hello? <laughs> it has always been my dream to marry a man with money, that is why I'm here at the casino. Wow! Alright, you. Heaven looks so... looks for something different in a man. My sister here, she wants a good man, but what... What she really means is a rich man. What do I mean? What do I mean when I say a good man? Mm, someone handsome, teehee. Well, I guess I'm like lucky out of both of those situations. Says, uh. <sighs> I must have used up all my luck last time around. Hey there. Well, how has your luck been any better? No, you must have used my luck up in there. Stop right there. Okay, you. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Lucky Stars Casino, Gopal's premier visitor attraction. We very much hope that you enjoy your time here. Give me your money. Put the money in the bag. No, I'll go in there some other time. Stop. Fine. Halt. You. <laughs> My friend is a devoted fan of Yao Ling, but I personally prefer Captain Yapi. They're both handsome and serious, but Yapi. Yapi? Is a true warrior, and as a soldier, that means a great deal to me. Yes. Howling is truly extraordinary. There is nothing his sharp eyes fail to see, nothing his pure heart fails to perceive. I'm moving on. Hello. 
unfortunately. Honestly, I doubt there's another hound in Gopal whose luck is as bad as mine. I mean, look at, look where I, where I find myself now. You're standing on the road. Is this like, am I in your house? Like, do you live here? I mean, you got free running water. You got that going. I mean, that's nice, right? I guess not. Okay. Yeah. Yao Ling is the finest fortune teller in all of Goldpaw. Red. Can I go in here? No, I cannot. Oh no. No matter how many times I see it, the Grand High Rollers Hall still still takes a, the breath away every time. You had better brace yourself if you intend to take a closer look. Ah! Hello. Hey there. Hello there. My name is Young Main. I am Long Main's little sister. Like that the kid that was all the way on the other side of the town, remember? I'm training to be a guard just like him. Okay. Now I'm gonna have some sips of some good old. Oh, I have to speak. Dang it. What's all the noise, I wonder? That sounds like a festival of some sort. Oh, ho, ho. You've come at the most auspicious time, friends. Today is the day on which Lady Lux die decides to, decides the taxes for the month to come. Should she roll a one, we will pay no taxes at all! Really? None at all? Mm. Well, at last, for the last two months, she's rolled sixes. So what happens then? Mm. The taxes increase sixfold. What? You're joking. How's anyone meant to afford that? It is hard, young lady, but such are the... Vigari... Vigaris? Never read that word before. <laughs> the Garys of fortune, and without fortune, what is what is Gopal? Uh, what is Gopal? Although I cannot say a one would not be welcome. Taxation based on a dice roll? Isn't that a little irresponsible? I I feel like I feel like that they wrote Roland in here just simply to lecture America on on things or something. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. It is our way, and besides, it is not fun to trust all. It, is it not fun to trust all the all to fortune to place one's fate on a single throw of the die? No. No, it's not. You guys need to like get a get a different hobby, like play video games, and like unprofessionally upload them to YouTube or write a book unprofessionally and don't get it published. Just have it sit on your computer for who knows how long. Even our criminal trials are held in this way. Guilt, guilt or innocence are decided by the judgment of the dice. What? That sounds risky. My god. Oh my god. That is worth- And Lofty is just okay with it. <laughs> but those blessed- But those blessed by fortune have nothing to fear. <laughs> of course. Uh, ah, Master Pugna Pugnacious is here. The ceremony is beginning. Neither can I, man, no. Lady of Fortune, may luck be on our side this month. That's the man. Taxes for the month will increase sixfold. Tighten your belts and trust Lady Luck, fellow citizens of Gopal. All will be well. Ah! <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Another six, and I was certain that our luck had turned. Ah, oh, well, all is, all is what, 
Mistress of Fortune wills it. I should stab you, dude. <laughs> So that was Master Pugnacious. Hmm. Yeah, and if that what the kid said is true, she's he's been rolling nothing but sixes these past three months. Oh, flippin' egg. Well that's not right, is it? And this whole this whole thing seems seems to be rigged. This this whole thing must be rigged. Listen here. Well but not to get far in making such accusations without proof, girly. We'd best best go see the man himself. In the big building, right? Oh. oh, it's gonna take forever. <laughs> really? All right. Oh, what was this? Best tent ever! Look, I'm getting better at using Leafbook, and now I can take much nicer pictures. This is one of the tents we've been living in. Amazing, right? Kunbishi. Nice work, Mistress Tani. So you're on Leafbook, too, Kun Kunbish. R that I am. If you want any tips, just ask. Thanks. I might just do that. Meeting a mum shroom. Yar, look at what I found. <laughs> I have a little poke around the forest and that is a magnificent, magnificent mushroom in a mum shroom in all her glory. It was the most horrifying thing I have ever encountered. She sprays out a little swabs called Sporcinos. Sporcino? Yeah. <clears throat> I fight alongside her. Just good to see see the little ones sticking up for their old ma ha her Another great shot. Magnificent? Are you sure? It's impressive, sure enough. Ha, you have truly captured its spirits. Yay. We're off to bray a beastie. There's a is right nasty piece of work in into uh, waters round cap capstan been disturbing to peace and me and the lads and got directed in and give it a wall up and gun proper like I have no idea how that is said like don't look at me I don't know I to this day I have no clue oh lady luck how can you <laughs> her name's Achu <sighs> So much misfortune you've rolled, at yet another six, and the taxes must rise once again. I do not know how much more th of this we can take. Oh. Truly, I feel your pain. If Lady Luck has ordained it, we must obey. It seems Skullpaw is short of luck lately. Okay. Hey! A thing. Well, what you got, Roland? Gopal, we, they have a ceremony in the main square where they decide the taxes for the coming month by rolling a giant die. There are many ways to run a country, but, le but letting fate decide a new one, not, new one, is it? Letting fate decides a new one on me. Okay, it's not, it's not what you'd call a responsible policy making. Hmm. Interesting. Yo, meatbag, let me in. Only those with business may enter. <coughs> Niall sent us. We have urgent business with the Grand High Roller. Master Pugnacious is occupied. He will see no one. But, but... but it's important. No one. Say. How about we play you for the chance to see him? Put the decision in the hands of the Mistress of Fortune. A game of dice? Hmm. Very well. Uh, very well. If you win, you will have your audience. If you lose, you will pay me. I think we can accept those terms. Excellent. I will make ready. Gather together what money you would wager and speak with me again. Well, are you ready? The stake will be one thousand guilders. You, you may, you may pay afterwards if you prefer. Of course. Shall we begin? Yes. Hmm. Excellent. We shall play a round of red and black. Oh, that makes sense now. <laughs> uh, the game uses three dice. I will throw two of the dice, and you will confirm the numbers rolled. And you will then decide whether the roll of the third die will bring the total of all three to eleven or more. Of 
if it will be less. If you believe it will be 11 or more, you will call red if less black. Okay. However, when three ones are, are rolled or three sixes, red and black will be turned on their heads. Okay. By this we mean that despite the total of three, our three ones will count as red. Despite the total of 18, our three sixes will count as black. Are you happy that you understand these rules? No. <laughs> huh. They seem fair enough, slightly in our favor, if anything. Well, no. It's a fine set of dice there, matey. Yeah, they'll be worth a pretty penny. I shouldn't. Penny, I shouldn't wonder. <laughs> I will thank you to keep your filthy hands away from them. These are sacred items entrusted only to the highest-ranking servants of the realm. I'm just a pirate, so yeah. now let us begin. I will start rolling the first two dice. Hmm. A six and a one. Uh, uh. The total is seven. Well, do you call it red or black? <laughs> sure. Very well. Red very well, then if a four or higher is rolled with the die, then you win. Let the final dice to say. Total is eight, black is victorious. I win. Oh no, we lost. My condolences, young man. Oh, Lofty, you look so mournful down there. Might you consider playing another round? Certainly, I'm a man of gold, Pa. Your debt will increase, of course. Are you happy with to proceed nonetheless? Yeah. Hey. What are you doing, Evan? I am gambling away our kingdom, is what I'm doing before we even get it started. You want my son? You want to thrash the beggar? <laughs> the beggar, my bad. I will start by rolling the first two dice. Jeez! Oh, two ones, you're lucky indeed. But be aware, should the third one appear, red and black, you will, it will be turned on their heads. Well, do you call red or black? Behold, red and black are turned on the heads. Red is victorious. Ha! I win again. Yeah. Ah, got it! But you're getting the hang of it, laddie. That much is plain. Really? Well, have you had enough? Well, if you wish to continue, your debt will increase still further. I like how I can't actually back out of it. Listen, beat me or something. Just stop me. Really, you could just do that. I mean, I can guarantee you, I will forgive you. <laughs> I will start by rolling the first two dice. Uh huh, two sixes! Red and black stand ready to be turned on their heads once more. Another six will turn them, in, resulting in a win for black. Any other number will result in a win for red. Well, which, which will it be? So we'll pretty much know what will happen. But, uh, you know. Very well. So, it has to be the five or lower. We'll see.
So, uh, don't worry everyone. I know what I'm doing. Do I really? No. <laughs> I win again. Oof! Oof! <laughs> don't give up now, laddie. You almost had the cur. Oh my gosh, do not throw sl do not throw such slurs around me, please. <laughs> Oh. Seriously, Evan, are you complete numbskull? Give up. But, but, what? But I'm doing so well. Really? Three losses, how unfortunate. Now, if you would be so kind to hand over the 10 million guilders. Ah! Snakes alive. 10 million, you doggy! It was only to a thousand a minute ago! <laughs> oh. I warned you, did I not? Twice, in fact. As you continue to lose, your debt grows exponentially. After each loss, it increases 100 fold. 1,000 1, rises to 100,000. 100,000 to 10 million. You mentioned the debt, but not the amount. It, w it wouldn't exactly call that informed consent. Oh my. We don't have anywhere near that much. Nor will we. I cannot. I'm trying to think of my last playthrough. I don't even think I actually even had that much. <laughs> Ever. Very well. Very well. You seem trustworthy. But I, I will allow you to delay the payment of your debt. Huh? Oh, no, do not be alarmed. The creature will leave you when your debt is paid. That is so Studio Ghibli. <laughs> oh. Hey. Oh, what are we going to do? We're no closer to meeting Master Pugnacious. Now we're ten million guilders in debt to that awful man. You owe me! You owe me! I don't know what I would do if I had that over my shoulder. <laughs> Oh, flipping egg. Shut up, you stupid bird. Court half the flipping town must be in debt of all the birds or anything to go by. So about the dice game, I couldn't help noticing something fishy about the third die was moving. You spotted it too. I was thinking of the exactly the same thing. Mm -hmm. Really? Heh. <laughs> I was so lost in the game there, it slipped to me notice, I have to say. Hmm. It wouldn't surprise me if there were more that to that die than meets the eye. I wish to die. <laughs> the swabs, swabs said there was special dies only for big wigs or some such. Did he not? If, he could, if we could get our hands on one, we might be able to find some proof that he was cheating. Why don't we take a look at the casino? The government runs it, right? So it'll be full of government employees and dice. Motion seconded. Uh, thirded. Well, all right then. Seems we have a plan. We have a plan. You owe me. You owe me. Do Bill? Is that its name? One thing I learned about long-necked uh, birds is that you grab them by the neck and then you just. Throw them around like a noisemaker, and that turn and that turns their neck into powder. Hello, hello. Now yeah, you're too busy. Oh. I feel sad, Miss Yukan. Can I have a cuddle? Hey, Miss Miss Yukan, Miss Yukan, can you play dice with us? You can be Lady Luck. Hey, hey we've all want to speak to Miss Yukan. Wait your turn. Well, I'ma just usurp this, cause I'm king and all. Hello. hello, hello, glad, good to meet you. Good day to you. How nice is it to exchange, ex exchange friendly greetings? I am tripping over my words. I'm terrible. Hello. hello. Oh, come now, you've come foolish enough to fall into debt. Let me tell you a little something about debt. You should treat as, treat as, as you would a curse. No matter how accustomed you, you become to having it in your life, it is always best to get rid of it as soon as possible. Dude. Whoa. 
<laughs> you look wild. <laughs> well, 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 Dubele. I always thought you were a meek and quiet boy, but it would seem you have a reckless streak, haha. <laughs> I'm still only apprentice here, but the master has recently started to teach teach me the true art that lies behind our profession. I only wish I were not so frightened of him. Please do not tell anyone, but the first time I saw his face, I almost started crying. Oh, is that this guy? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oy. Crud, I was actually about to say something, but I completely forgot. Hmm. Oh well then. Hello. Ah, uh, thanks to Lady Luck for rolling that stupid six. I've only I've only get five hundred guilders for my pocket money this mm -hmm. month. Five hundred? Your money your family must be so rich, I only get twenty five a month. Jeez. This is terrible. Hey. Can we go get eat some fruits of fortune on the way home, please? Fruits of fortune with the taxes increase sixfold again. No my boy, you'll be you'll be lucky to get gruel. Depressing Hello. Oh, you have a dubo. Can I stroke it? Oh my god. <laughs> What's that? You have problem? Here, let me just... I don't know, laugh at it a bit? <laughs> if you witness the ritual of Lady Luck rolling her sacred die, it is a spectacle worth seeing at least once, once while you're in Goldfall. <laughs> Ugh, that felt terrible. Alright. An auspicious star governs your chart at the moment, it would seem. You must you must rid yourself of the burden of debt as quickly as you can. So... I see that you're fond of debt. How foolish. This this would not have happened had you asked Hua Ling your to read your fortune, I assure you. <laughs> your burden with debt, I see. Even I, the the unfortunate hound in uh, Goldpaw, have never fallen victim victim to that particular curse. In fact, every time I visit the casino, I seem to leave my wallet at home. I've always bemoaned my misfortune, but perhaps I should be grateful for it. Is that really, like, all your problems were? Oh, I just forgot my wallet. No, I'm just gonna... Yes. No new lines, no new lines. Alright. My, uh, humblest apologies, uh, <clears throat> sir. House kindly asks that those who are <clears throat> troubled by debt refrain from, uh, playing. Oh. Uh, I see, of course. So how do people normally get out of debt when they're, like, 10 million in debt? Like, what happens then? He's with me. I won't let him play any of the games. He'll just be watching. Is that alright with you? By all means, we hope you enjoy your visits. We have a very large crowd going in now. It's like, all right, you know, all right, we're in. Hey, there's some people with the bill anyway, or they probably got it when they got in here. So this is what the inside of a casino looks like. We'll draw, we'll draw less attention if we split up. Let's spread out and see what we can see. Did I just spy Prince Evan? Peachy. Oh, you have a nice name. Perhaps I was mistaken, but I could have sworn I just saw none other than Prince Evan in the... Evan in the Fortune Square. I only saw him from behind, but I'm almost certain it was him. It must be him. Look at those ears. Or somebody dressed like him. I heard that he had been killed in a coup. Exactly. It's not him. It cannot be. Nope. Not me. The Magnificent Manticore. It's not magnificent! It's mean! It's mean is what it is. Yeah, I snapped his chat with the calm lands, and he's so mighty proud of. I can't get enough of this old picture. I can. Yeah, I can uh, sure really agree. Well, you're a professional photographer. Look at those horns. I'd be too scared to get too close. Ah, you'd be wise just to keep your distance. Let's save real quick. I don't know. I suddenly feel paranoid. Alrighty. Hello, sir. Seems you two are burdened with debt. How unfortunate you we are. Yeah. Rad. How long has this been going on? Oh, too long. Okay, actually, we're stopping. Stopping! Right now! Right now.